Good day viewers, you are welcome. We have an interesting geometry challenge here to solve today. We are giving this triangle which is inscribed. We have a circle inscribed in this triangle of which this side is of length 4 and this side is of length 3. And we also find this side given that the area of circle is uh, 3. So which means the entire area of this circle we have it to be 3. And we want to find the length of this side. So let's see how we can solve these questions. The first thing we consider is solution. So, and uh, we know that for every area of circle, it's given as pi of radius squared. And the area has been given to be 3. Therefore, we have pi r squared equals and let's know the value of radius first. To find the radius, it means we are going to divide both sides by pi and take the square of both sides. So therefore, our r here is given as the square root of 3 over pi. So here is the first thing we are going to take note. And uh, we come back to this diagram. Suppose I cancel this and uh, given that we have this side here, and we have this side and this side. So these two sides and these two sides are happens to be equal. Also, we have this side and this side to be equal as well. So if I change this one, and I call this one letter X. So by call this one letter X, and also this one to be letter X. And the entire of this one is 3 before. It means this side becomes 3 minus X. And since this side and this side are equal, we are going to have this as 3 minus x. So I cancel this, and this also becomes 4 minus x. This one is also 4 minus x. And the entire radius for this circle has been given to be the square root of 3 over pi. So this makes sense. Then let's see how we can uh, now solve this. So the first thing we are, we are going to consider here is to find the perimeter of this rectangle first. So perimeter of rectangle, it means you are going to add all this together. So by adding all this together to find the perimeter, we are going to have the perimeter, let's say, is given as P by summing all the sides together. So for this side here, we are going to have 4. So this is 3. And the addition of this side gives us 7 minus 2x. As we have 4, we are going to have 4 plus 3 plus 7 minus 2x. So here is what we are going to have for the perimeter. So therefore, we have P equals 14 minus 2x. And again, let's find the semi-perimeter for this. So for this semi-perimeter, it means we are going to divide this one by 2. So therefore, SP is given as 7 minus X. So here is our semi-perimeter. Okay? So, and uh, we can also call it the surface. Okay? So therefore, let's see the by Eros formula. So we have to call Eros formula. So Eros formula, we use it to find the, uh, the triangle. And it says... For the area is given as the square root of x into bracket of x minus side A, x minus side B, and uh, x minus side C. So let's say we have uh, it like this, s, s minus A, we have all the sides to be A, B, and uh, A, B, and C. So we know that for this S, it's just like our SP, which is given as 7 minus x. So here we have the square root of, we have this as 7 minus x. And let's say the side A is given as the side of uh, the side of 4. And everything we have there, so when we apply this, it gives us 3 minus x. For the side B, it gives us 4 minus x. And for the included side, which is the side of, when we have 4 minus x and uh, 3 minus x. So we are going to have that one as x. So we consider this as the first area. And let's look into the area of 
of circle compare it to the surface area that we just got here so that one will be given as area equals this sp multiplied by radius then we are going to have a equals the sp here is given as 7 minus x then multiply by radius but the radius here has been given to be the square root of 3 over 3 over pi so we have two equations here we have this is equation one and then here we have this as equation two so let's try and equate this together so by equating it we have uh, we are going to obtain the value of x and uh, we see how we can get the the side that is required to find so we have left this area two and uh, we have this as area one we let the two of them equals to each other then we can simply get the value of x from here let's say we take the square of both sides by squaring both sides this one attain 7 minus x squared then the square we cancel here uh, the square root we cancelled here becomes 3 over pi equals so square we cancel this square root as well as this one becomes 7 minus x multiplying 3 minus x multiplying 4 minus x and here is x and from this side uh, we are going to note that here we have 3 minus x so the first thing we are going to note is the x here that we have is less than 3 so x is less than 3 so therefore from this expression we are going to get you know since this is squared this is also uh, 7 minus x but it's having squared it's not having squared so if you say we apply the law of algebra we are going to get x equals to 7 and this says x is less than 3 so therefore i'm going to cancel this and cancel this so here remains 7 minus x so when this one removes 7 minus x and uh, we continue we have this as 7 minus x multiplied by 3 over pi equals 3 minus x multiplied by 4 minus x multiplied by x and when we expand this one out we have this becomes 21 over pi minus 3x over pi equals expansion of this one for this two bracket only we have 12 minus 7x plus x squared then we have it multiplied by x so when it multiplies x then we are going to have let's expand this one out we have this as 21 over pi minus 3x over pi equals we have 12x minus 7x squared plus x cubed so it seems we are having a cubic equations already so this is very fantastic then let's transfer the whole of this here as this is x we are going to have this as x power 3 minus 7x squared so when this one comes here it becomes positive and uh, what is common there is x by taking out x we are left with 3 over pi minus uh, 3 over pi plus 12 and uh, here we have minus 21 over pi and everything equals zero then after having this here is the expression that we got it's a cubic equation and to solve this is very simple as i've already solved it so we can just try that one out as we know that for everything we have here our x is always less than three as the condition above if x is less than three so the first possible value of x one is given as so we are not after the complex solution here we're after the real solution the first x1 here where we try to plug in this value is approximately to be 0 0.888038 that is our x1 and uh, for the x2 here is given as 1.70 
997. These are the two values of x that we are going to have. And we will now recall from where we have at the x speed that we got above, which is semi perimeter. So we know that our semi perimeter is giving us. So we have our semi perimeter. When we add that one together, that is 7 minus 2x. That's what we are going to have. And 7 minus 2x here. So it's giving us. So, I mean, for the side that we are asked to calculate, suppose that side, I just call it uh, a question mark. So, we can use any letter to denote that side that we are asked to calculate. So, let me just put that question mark. So, equals to this. That is, let's say this is our x1. If this is our x1, we are going to have 7 minus 2 bracket. x1 is 0 0.888038. And when we try and substitute it, and uh, we find everything here it is approximately 5.223924 so here is the result of this first one at our x1 and also we can also get our x2 from here by also trying to substitute so when we try and substitute x2 using the same formula as in the question mark we have 7 minus 2x2. For 7 minus 2x2, we are going to have 7 minus 2 into bracket of 1.70997. And uh, when we try and multiply this together, uh, and then uh, we subtract, we are going to have 3.580006. So this is also the approximate value of uh, the second x. So which means there are two values of x and both of them are in a decimal form. Thanks for watching. And this is how we solve this. If you have another method of solving this question better than, better than this, you can just drop it in the comment box and see you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.